Hey everyone, welcome back to Buick Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and today I'm going to be showing you how I take all my salmon and halibut and process it up and get it ready for the freezer. Uh, so to start things off, I'll just run through the list of stuff that I have here. Uh, basically, you just need your typical little fillet knife. Same one that we use out on the ocean with there. Uh, I use a vacuum sealer. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, uh, I mean, I guess you could use kind of butcher paper, but vacuum sealer is the way to go. This one's Ziploc one. Food Saver makes another great one too. Uh, with your vacuum sealer, you do need vacuum bags. Uh, these are the 11 inch Food Saver ones. I also have eight inch little seal meal ones. I don't think it really matters what kind you have. They all kind of seem to work. Uh, next, just a simple pair of scissors for making your bags and cutting your uh, fish bags open. Uh, a Sharpie for marking your uh, bags. I use a good set of tweezers for pulling the bones out. And as weird as it is, go into some local beauty shop or whatever and ask them what set of tweezers are pretty well the best ones that they got for this because it just makes your life way easier having these. And then just some simple disinfectant wipes and some paper towel. So before I touch any fish here, what I like to do is I like to get some bags pre-made. Uh, so all these vacuum bags, they all come in big rolls. And what I like to do is uh, if you look here, when you roll it out, there's little marks every, every four inches or so there. What I do is typically go three marks down and then cut straight across. So this one here, we got one, two, three right there. That might be a little small. We'll go to number four. Now what you're left with is a fairly big bag, but it, it's a lot nicer to have a bag that's a little too big instead of one that's too small. If it's too small, you're just wasting a bit of your bag. But with these rolls, they are open on both ends. So we got to take her to our little Ziploc machine here, your little vacuum wrapper. Open her up, lay her down, and this part doesn't really matter as long as your opening here is above this line. So I just put it right into the little vacuum section there. Make sure it's fairly straight. Close her up and then just push the little seal button. With this one, a red light comes on. When the red light goes off, you're good to go. And then that way, uh, we seal the one end and we have a bag that's ready to go here. So red light came off, open her up. You have a nice seal right here. That little bit of lip there, don't worry about that. And now you have a good 10 inches or so of uh, room for your fish to go into. And then also, if you have a piece of fish this big and you have that much extra, it's not a big deal at all. It makes it, uh, for sealing it and vacuuming it, so much easier. But that's how you make a bag. And now we're going to be uh, starting to fillet fish. Alrighty guys, so now that we have one of our bags made up, I'm going to grab a fish, put it on the table. We're going to start to fillet them. So these fish, the nice little pink. These fish, they've been thawing out for almost three days here now. So they're just starting to get thawed. But, as usual, our typical fillet, we're going to start at the base of the tail, cut down to hit the bone. Follow that spine up. And, there we go. Flip it around, do the same thing on this side. Now 
Now the problem that I end up having sometimes, my knives are almost too sharp and I cut through the spine, but if you do that, just peel it out. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. That's all you got left. A little bit of bone, tiny little bit of beat there, but that's fine. Now, the next thing that we do, we gotta knock the hide off. So, start here, make a small little cut down in there, get that little flab of skin. I hold on to that with my thumb, my finger, and basically you just pull back on it. You really don't have to move your knife. There we go. Skin's off. Now what we have here is some of these uh, rib bones. You can see the bone is right there. So basically take your knife, go underneath it, make one nice cut, that. Now you just follow that cut down. Angle your knife slightly up so it hits the bones. And there you go. All your bones are out. Well, all the rib bones. You still got your pin bones. So your pin bones are all right here. If you run your knife like this, you can see them all starting to stack up. Now you can either use your knife and cut them out or you can use some pliers. Pliers take a little bit more time. Or I shouldn't call them pliers, they're tweezers. But grab each one of them. This guy here is a bit soft, but that's alright. So you can pull them out. One by one. Or, show you another way. Take your knife. So these pin bones, they run this way. They run towards its spine. And again, you can see them all standing up. So go on the one side that's closest to the spine. Turn your knife slightly, kind of like a 30 degree angle. So it opens it up there. And now go on the side closest to its belly and run that same cut. And this right here. That's all pin bones. And now you have a boneless fillet. And then to vacuum wrap this, any extra junk like that, I pull that off. Now with this one, you could vacuum wrap it whole, or if you want, you can cut it up into whatever sizes that you like. Uh, for us, because there's two of us, this one, it'd be easy just to leave it whole. Or I could cut it in half, take it for lunch with me, whatever the case may be. Uh, for this one here, I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, leave it whole. And for that, take your bag. Take your open end. Grab your fish, put her inside. What I like to do is try to get it right in the center or as center as possible. So something like that it doesn't have to be exactly perfect you can see this one here I made this bag for smaller portion sizes so I don't know if this is gonna work but we can give her a go anyways and this is a good example of why you want a longer bag instead of a shorter bag so your open lip here has to be in this tray it's kind of like a spill tray but also where all the vacuum comes from and then here's your seal 
And right here, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but you can see the little tiniest piece of fish. So that right there, that was in there. If you left that there, you wouldn't have sealed this. So we have that nice and squared up. Put in there. Lock it down like that. This one here is real easy. Push the vacuum and seal button. And now what it'll do, it sucks it up nice and tight. Every once in a while you kind of got to give this a little bit of a wiggle. Because it just runs off of vacuum pressure. Once it sees enough vacuum pressure, it'll automatically seal it. And if it doesn't, you can just hit the seal button too. It keeps that vacuum on it there for a little bit. Hit the seal button. That red light comes on. And then once that red light goes off, it's sealed. So right there, red light's off. Open her up. Now we have a vacuum wrapped pink salmon. Not quite ready for the freezer yet. I grab my Sharpie. And I don't write pink salmon coho chinook, none of that. I just write the date. So for this, it's just 2021. And there you have it. There's one salmon fillet ready for the freezer. And that's all there is to it. All right, guys. So now we're uh, we finished up all of our salmon. So we're going to get working on our halibut here now. And uh, for me, what I do is I fillet these slightly different than everyone else. So I got all four fillets still attached at the tail. And unfortunately, this stuff's still kind of pretty well frozen, but we'll still be able to get her done here. But if you want to see how I fillet my halibut like this, I'll put a little link in the description below for you to check out. And then also up here in the corner, I'll, uh, I'll put a little tag in there. You can just click on that right now if you want, and you can watch it now. But anyways, uh, it's the same thing as our salmon. What I'll do, simply take this, take it off from the tail, and we'll just put this to the side for now. And we'll just deal with the one fillet. So it's just like our uh, salmon. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the hide off of him. Put your knife in there. Oop. Run her down. And with this being frozen still, I don't know if I'm gonna get it all off. But we'll see. We got most of it left a little bit there. This here, we can just take this off. There we go. Get rid of that. And now, just like the salmon, we'll just cut this up into uh, pieces that we want for the right size. So for this one, We'll just slice her down in half there. Then simply take our bags. And this one here, I think what we'll do is we'll put two into one bag here. And it's not quite not quite flat and level in there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, one thing that we're gonna do on this one, because I have a little bit of slime from the halibut right here, what I'll do is I'll take paper towel, I'll put it in here, and I'll wipe it out so it's nice and dry. Uh, if it's not nice and dry, a lot of times what'll happen is when you go to seal it, the seal won't melt the plastic. It'll just kind of sizzle on all the moisture and water that's there. So to just Get rid of that, grab a paper towel, put her inside, and wipe her up. There. That's all it takes, a real quick wipe in there. Now that way, it's nice and clean. There's no uh, 
No slime, no water, nothing there. And again, take her, put her into your little catch tray there. Close her up. And just like that, we have some nice halibut ready for the freezer. But anyways guys, that's how I process all my fish, salmon and halibut, basically the same technique. Thaw it out, fillet them up, take the bones out, knock the hide off, vacuum wrap them, date them, freeze them, and you are good to go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, make sure you leave us a comment or two, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Alright guys, so for a little, uh, little quick tip here for you. If you're vacuum wrapping your stuff, and it just keeps kind of pulling up a bunch of moisture, what you can do is you can take a paper towel, fold it in half, fold it in half again, take this, Put it on the inside here. Now take her. Put her in there. Make sure your paper towel is away from your uh, little sealer. And now this way, once this sucks down, it'll pull some moisture out, but it should get caught in here. See how it's getting all sucked up? Red light came on, it's off there. No moisture. <laughs>